Yeah, right, guys, day three of our little trip to London. Let's get this video started. What we got planned today then? Not a busy one, is it? What we got? So, we're just packing up um, in the hotel room. Check out is at 12. It's quarter past 11, so we've had a very nice, steady morning. Uh, had his breakfast. I'm gonna nip somewhere in London, have a, have a coffee and something before half past two, because what are we doing at half past two? Wicked. Wicked. So we're going to watch Wicked before our train home. So looking forward to that. Obviously, we can't show you any of it because they don't allow videoing or anything. But we'll uh, we'll video where our seats are and uh, and going in and stuff like that. But unfortunately, we're seeing the show. You guys won't be. What was that place in Leicester Square? TK. TKTS. Sell discounted tickets for shows, but they only sell them for that day that you go. Yeah. Um, so because the Apollo Victoria Theatre was just around corner from our hotel, we went there first, got some really really good seats, some right near the front. Yeah. Um, they were a bit pricey. Seventy two quid a ticket, weren't it? But, but we didn't mind that, and then we went to again TK. TK TS. Um, and they were selling tickets for a show um, that night for Wicked, which were £45, so it is a massive difference. Yeah. Not sure where the seats were though, they mm. might have been up in the uh, up on the balcony. It said stalls, but that's all the information it gives you to tell you whereabouts. So, so we're pretty much centre stage on, in the stalls, so should be good seats. So, I Looking don't forward to it. Spend another touch. She won't mind because I paid for it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll show you that. Don't try the door again. <laughs> We've found a shop that um, I found something that I want to buy. Just to show you. But I tried the door and it's locked. Peasants aren't allowed in. I don't think you are. I don't care. That middle one. Beautiful. Don't know if you can see it through the window. But I can map black Lamborghini. Stunning. So to fill part of his day up, we have come to the museum district uh, and we're going to go into the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's very nice. So, it's very pretty. Turn you around. Not the greatest angle, I know. But decorations on the buildings, beautiful. Let's go in, have a look. Starting up at the top, straight for architecture. Um, yeah, that's a walk up the stairs. It's another one where, if, if, you, if you're on a budget, free entry, five pound suggested donation, which we've put in. So, yeah, just going into St. Paul's Cathedral. Let's have a look around. I'd love a job like that. Building little models. Designing designing somewhere, a building that's practical for what for what it's needed for. And building like a little scale model. Must be rewarding to see little bits create things like this. So we're just heading into glassware now and have you ever seen anybody? Do glass dwelling? Yeah. What do you think of it? They make it look easy but it's really not. Yeah. Saw it at Disney. Um, when they were there kind of glass blowing 
Disney characters. But some of this in here, very different to Mickey Mouse. Couple of chandeliers in here you won't want Del Boy and Rodney under. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't love this museum. I like the shape of the building more than more than the stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're heading into sculptures now. So we're on the third floor, I think. Um, Vicky's already looking down at the second floor. We're not there yet, Vic. So let's have a look around, see if there's some interesting sculptures. So this looks like it's the restoration room. My question is, how on earth do you get something like that in? Well, there's no, do they take the roof off? Crane it in? That's a, it's a logistical nightmare. That's impressive. If, um, if you are involved in stuff like that, in the comments down below, it would be nice to know how stuff like that gets into a building like this, wouldn't it? That's unreal. Vicky. Turned into a proper art viewer, hands behind and back, viewing, contemplating, thinking what it could mean. What? <laughs> yeah? So there we've got a lovely table clock. What it says on this. Don't think we've got a table big enough for it, have we? Mm -hmm. The detail though is unreal. I mean, look at the clock face. It is stunning. Loads of squashed brass instruments. It's very symmetrical. Unbelievable to think Raphael knocked all of these paintings up in a year. Tapestry. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Oh. That's not the same, is it? No, that's a tapestry, isn't it? Oh, that's the same as we probably did about half to three quarters of that museum, do you think? Um, and we've run out of time, so unfortunately we've got to, we've got to go head towards uh, the theatre for Wicked. But we are definitely coming back here again next time we're in London because there's so much to see. And every single piece is really impressive. Um, 
just talking to one of the like, tour guides, um, asking how some of the artifacts get brought in, and some of the paintings and things are actually cut up, cut up, folded, um, brought in, and then refurbed on site. And then there's some, some of like the big pillars and columns and things, which are brought in in sections. So big chunks of it brought in, uh, really fragile stuff. So we've got to handle it with care. Brought in individually and then uh, and then refurbed on site. So interesting. Well worth a visit. It was like originally Prince Albert, the King co Consort to Queen Victoria, so her husband, who came up with the idea to have a museum to display some of the artifacts and they built it and that's why it's called the Victorian Albert Museum. There you go, so this is built purely as a museum. Yeah. So it was never like a it was never anything never else. Anything else it. Always a museum. There you go. When you're with me and Vicky every day. <laughs> it's a school day. <laughs> Let's go watch Wicked. We're here. We're here. Yeah. Wicked at the Apollo Victoria. Victoria? You excited? No. <laughs> Very green. Check these for seats. Oh, we are close to the front. These are good seats. So we're gonna enjoy Wicked. Like I say, unfortunately, can't video any of it, so you guys won't get to see it. But we will, and we'll let you know if we enjoyed it or not at the interval and, uh, and after the show. So we'll just turn you around to show you the, uh, the stage once more. We're along here. Emerald City there, so the sparkling in the middle. Sorry guys. So we're at the, we're at the interval. What do you think? It just said to Dan that I don't want it to be <laughs> uh, The fine gravity live is something else, isn't it? I would nearly cry. Must be my age. <laughs> I had a little tear. You do? She's got a swinging brick though, so. Well, no, really impressive. Just power in the voices is unreal, isn't it? They've got my phone, but it's just it's at a different level, isn't it? So, uh, we're gonna have gin and tonic during the interval and then look forward to the second half. So that's the show done. What did you think? It's really good. Yeah? Did you enjoy it? Good. Um, sneakily recorded a little bit at the end. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. Should be alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've, have you ever seen a bad show in London? I don't think I haven't. Um, the guys who perform in them, bags and bags of talent. Um, and to perform that many times as well, I mean, matinees, evening performances, tough job. But no, bags and bags of talent. Really enjoyed it. Um, the story's great. And would you recommend it? Yeah, Vicky would re recommend it. I'd recommend it. Well worth the money. Well worth the trip down here. But fortunately that's it. That's his holiday over Vic. <sighs> so we're going back to the hotel, picking his bags up and then to the station and home. So if you've enjoyed these three vlogs, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Comments in the section down below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed today's part of the vlog, stick a big thumbs up on it. Comments in the section down below. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button. If you've stumbled across day three first, day one and two, future Dan will edit and put it somewhere on the screen. Once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.